I've always made documentaries, especially uh, what, what are called uh, ethnographic documentaries. And, uh, but uh, the last two documentaries that I made, uh, they are family films. They, they could be called ethnographic as well, but I call them family films because not only because they deal about my family, but because uh, members of my family also collaborated in the making of them. From 1980 through 1983, I interviewed my four grandparents uh, about their life in the Spanish Civil War. But it was many years later, in 2009, that I finally got a scholarship that helped me in make the, a film about my family history. Uh, I finished it in 2017. But in 2015, I received um, a request from the Museum of Mexico City, the Mexico City Museum, to make a short documentary about my aunt to accompany the exhibition. They had no money. And I made this film anyway, but it was while I made this short film, and thanks to the interviews that uh, one of the friends and experts on Lucinda made to her, and that I incorporated in the film, that uh, I, I decided to make a, make it a, a longer film, and to uh, to go to go as deep as I could into her life and, and, and into her path, uh, her path as an artist. Because she was so, it was so painful to talk about, for her to talk about the war. I, I, I used the material, the interviews I had made to her before, and I, I skipped asking her again about the Spanish Civil War. Uh, yes, her childhood, inevitably the war, uh, was covered, but very slightly, and I concentrated more on her adolescent and her struggle to, to study and to become independent and to, uh, and to uh, bring food to the family and, and to become the artist she's now. In the first film, when I first interviewed Lucinda for the first film, which is a film about my family in the Spanish Civil War, she was very, very reluctant to talk about it. So I asked my father, you know, her brother, to, to help me and to convince her. It took him all, another year, basically, to convince her to talk about the war and her memories. And, but luckily, when she finally agreed, and I recorded this interview back in, which took place in 2012, uh, it was very therapeutic for her, and uh, from then on, it was very easy to talk to her. And that that first interview opened the, the doors to her memory, also, and, and to her uh, in, in Lucinda's interest to 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 share their stories. To me, the goal of art, or the, the reason to make art, is to make us, uh, us ourselves more sensitive and to make others more sensitive to our, the needs of others, to the planet, to animals. Uh, that's the goal of art, to make us better people through our de developing our sensitivity towards the beauty, towards justice, uh, towards truth. And, uh, and Lucinda's values are the same. One is to try to make, to finish a film that I uh, started with uh, Manuel Felgueres, a painter who just died uh, from COVID. And I want her widow to let me continue with that project. Film is a wonderful device to keep memory alive and to per perpetuate it. And uh, so that's my, my other goal for the next years.